We all know that the BMW M340i is one heck of a bang for buck vehicle. But most of us don't have 80 lakh rupees to spend on a car. So what if I tell you that you can get a similar powertrain and drivetrain as the M340i just without the BMW badge. This over here is the Volvo S60 T6 all-wheel drive. It is a very rare car and I'm going to tell you all about this amazing machine today. This Volvo S60 T6 is a little bit different than your regular 2011 model year car because if you're a Volvo fanatic you've already understood that this car has gotten a front end facelift so it gets a brand new set of bumpers, brand new headlights the older one had like a split a headlamp kind of setup but this is now one singular unit and yeah I think so it's a very clean looking design overall the car looks very sporty uh, as you can see at the end it has a very coupe like rear end with the overhang and everything like that and overall it just looks very sporty now the owner has done a red wrap on it so it looks very un volvo -y in that sense because Volvos are known to be understated and very sleeper-esque but this definitely stands out. I think so, in my opinion, it's a very nice looking car. Probably a different set of rims would really look nice on this car. But let's hop into the interior and quickly see what's going on inside. The interior is pretty quirky. If especially you're coming from something like a German car, this is a very different way of doing an interior. You have this very distinct Volvo center console over here from the olden days like with the numbers and everything like the dial pad over here in the middle you have a bunch of knobs going around and uh, yeah if you get used to it i'm pretty sure this is a very simple interior to use there's not much going on on the inside uh, but there are some cool little features here and there which make this a very unique driving experience for example the instrument cluster uh, you have your two dials, uh, the right side is a tachometer, the left side is a speedometer but you have these two little screens inside both of them and that allows Volvo to make this floating needle kind of thing going on which looks really cool. Uh, you also have an infotainment system in the middle which has some functionality done to it. You have your traction control settings and other safety net uh, settings uh, in this infotainment system which you can switch using this dial over here. But apart from that, it's a pretty nice interior, very minimalist, not much going on. The seats are super wide and super big. So if you're a little bit wider than me, you can fit in these pretty easily. You have a nice sunroof and the rear looks pretty all right. So how about we start up this turbocharged inline six engine and see how it is when you actually put your foot down. As you can see, this thing makes just north of 300 horsepower. And I know this isn't the best sounding clip because the dyno rollers are overpowering the sound of the engine, but hang on for a while for the driving segment to hear more of it. Talking about the engine. And this is what we're talking about. This over here is a three liter inline six turbocharged engine. Uh, it's mated to a Holdex all-wheel drive system and a six-speed torque converter gearbox. This thing makes 305-ish horsepower and anywhere around 400 Nm of torque. And as you just heard, it sounds pretty similar to the BMW M340i, apart from the fact that it is a transversely mounted uh, inline-six engine. As opposed to the M340i's, longitudinally mounted inline six engine. This thing is capable of doing some impressive numbers once you start getting into the tuning side of things. Warp Division themselves have built a stage two tuned uh, Volvo T6 uh, all wheel drive and that thing makes roughly 350 horsepower which will hopefully cover sometime this year and this thing has the capability of going stage three. This is running on a Borg Wagner K16 turbocharger and there are a ways to make this into a hybrid turbo and once you do that this thing can make roughly 450 horsepower without doing much so and that is pretty impressive now according to warp division you can get a full frame hybrid turbocharger which is rated for 
600 to 700 horsepower and this engine once you do a couple of engine upgrades like ARP bolts a little bit of forged internals and some stuff here and there this engine can make 800 horsepower and mind you this is not going to have any sort of problem in putting the power down because of course it has a Haldex all-wheel drive system now if the gearbox can take it or not that's a little bit of a question mark but hey that's what we're waiting for and hopefully warp division can actually build a proper stage 3 volvo t6 all-wheel drive that would be super cool This was a very surprising driving experience for me. I was not expecting this car to feel the way it does. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're expecting this to be somewhat similar to the M340i, well, don't be fooled. I know I said it is similar to the M340i, but that's only on paper. When it comes to actually driving it, uh, if you are used to BMWs or if you've driven an M340i and you're thinking this is some sort of a budget M340i, well, it's not because the steering, the way it goes down the road, the precision, the handling is nowhere near as good as a BMW. But it is fun and it is engaging to drive in its own way. And it's actually pretty dang fast for what it is. You can definitely feel the 300 horsepower and this car does not struggle to get into the triple digit speeds at any given point. I mean, it has tons of torque, tons of power and yeah, it's, it's really, really fun to drive. And pair that with the Holdex all-wheel drive system that this thing has, it has loads of grip. It doesn't struggle to put the power down. And yeah, it's just a very fun car to drive. In the corners also, when you throw it down a corner, it just sticks and goes. The only little downside that I, I would say that this driving experience has is the gearbox. Now, this is a six-speed uh, torque converter gearbox made by this Japanese company called Isin, if I'm not wrong. If I've butchered that pronunciation, well, just tell me how to do it in the comments down below. But I think so that is the only little downside that this car has. The shifts are not as crispy or as uh, quick as you would expect a performance car to be. And this thing technically used to compete with cars like the Audi S4, the E90 335i or the Mercedes C300, stuff like that. So. It's not a full-on performance car, but it has a pretty performancey kind of engine. 305 horsepower is no joke, and you can definitely feel it in this car. couple of things that I would definitely upgrade are first of all the brakes I think so the brakes in this car are a little underpowered for this sort of power output from an engine so I would definitely upgrade the rotors and the pads for sure but overall I was definitely not expecting this car to feel like this it feels pretty dang fast for you know a 2011 car now like I said this car has tons of tuning potential you can go stage 2 and warp division has built a stage 2 car and that thing makes roughly 350 horsepower there is an option to go uh, stage 3 with a hybrid turbo now this car runs a Borg Wagner uh, K16 turbo like I mentioned and you have hybrid shells and hybrid turbines and everything made for that particular turbo Warp Division is saying that they are planning to do a stage 3 build with a T6 uh, inline 6 all-wheel drive car and that will be very interesting to see you know what happens 
Now, according to Bhuvan from Warp Division, if you go stage three on a Volvo S60 T6, the engine can take roughly up to 500-ish horsepower on its stock internals and everything like that. But the thing is, this engine has the capability of being built, and if you build this engine with a proper full-frame hybrid turbo, this thing can make almost 800 horsepower, which is absolutely nuts. Now, I'm not sure if uh, the gearbox can take 800 horsepower. I'm pretty sure there must be some sort of an upgrade kit for the gearbox or a gearbox swap or something like that. But 800 horsepower from this engine. is absolutely ridiculous i have not known that volvos are capable of doing this sort of stuff but this is very very impressive so this car does come with kind of a sports mode so you go into the menu and you turn this thing called as dtsc off so that basically turns off traction control for you uh, but the thing is it does not turn off stability control so you still have a little bit of a safety net you know if you're going absolutely wild but uh, you put a uh, dtsc off traction gets off then you put the gearbox into sport and that is technically kind of like a sports mode and yeah you can definitely feel the full grunt of the engine once you put it into that mode but i think so a couple of things are needed for this experience to be a little bit better and you can definitely do that because just like any vw audi product or even a bmw product for that matter uh, this thing has a lot of oem plus upgrades available so you can get the newer uh, 2013 to 2017 model year cars uh, paddle shifter steering uh, retrofitted to this car you can get the tft cluster also retrofitted to this car so it has a whole bunch of oem plus fitments that you can do it has a lot of safety net uh, equipment also so this particular car has radar cruise control if i'm not wrong it has lane keep assist and a whole bunch of other stuff it also gets a lot of additional safety stuff that can be retrofitted as well and like i said this car has got in the 2013 17 facelift done to the front end the interior has not been upgraded to that spec yet you can bring this car up to the modern times just like any other vw audi skoda bmw like those cars have retrofitments even this car does have it which is a really nice thing to know about this was truly an eye opening experience i did not know that volvos were this capable and i think so in under 30 lakh rupees this is the closest that you can get to an m340 i kind of driving experience because the e90 335 Uh, i is not available in india so is the f chassis 335i or 340i not available in india you have the audi s4 but those are ridiculously expensive and they're supercharged nor do you get the mercedes c300 and the c43s are much more expensive than this thing over here so this is definitely a very interesting car to drive and as you can see it has a lot of tuning potential as well and if you're looking to do something like that definitely get in touch with warp division because these guys are very very familiar and they're basically the wizards of the volvo world in our opinion so check out warp division on instagram they also have a dyno over here so if you're looking to do dyno runs or something of that sort in hyderabad these guys are the go to for that and yeah comment down below what you think of this volvo s60 t6 all wheel drive uh, comment down below if you would buy this over an audi s4 or if this can be your next performance car check out tdh classifieds if you want to buy some sort of a interesting tuner car or performance car as your next purchase and subscribe to the channel help us hit 100000 subscribers and 50000 subscribers on instagram and i'll catch you in the next one